This is what I call the bubble over my head because I like to tell you guys kind of what I was thinking while I was doing what I was doing. And, um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, people ask me sometimes, Dr. Phil, do you think problems are as simple as you make them out to be? Um, the truth is I don't think problems are simple at all. I, I think problems are often complex and they're layered and they have a lot of different um, comorbidities, things that occur at the same time as a, a problem that you're focusing on. What I think sometimes is pretty simple uh, is the solution. The problem may be complex, but the fix can be pretty simple. My mom has anger management problems and she takes it out on me and my brother Jacob. Every time I say that you're angry, you say, so what? Is that okay? Well, that's because you doing that to me is provoking. Me and JT feel forced to react to all of our mom's chaos. My mom plays victim a lot. She loves for us to react. If I'm not working, I'm home smoking weed. It's like my glass of wine at the end of the day. Smoking weed helps us uh, suppress our feelings with our mom to whatever she's trying to do to frustrate us. My mom is loud, attention sinking. She's overbearing. Living at home is hell. I never thought I'd be living with my mom at age 24. She tries to guilt trip me by saying if she left, nobody would ever look for her. As soon as me and JT started showing independence, that's when my mom started to get even more angry. It seems to me that you have changed these young men into surrogate partners for you. Right. And become very jealous and threatened whenever they turn their attention away from you to someone else. In this situation, I'll tell you kind of how I parsed this out. Um, I divided this into two parts. One was the family dynamic, the relationship here. Like to me, it was really clear this mother was using these boys like her husband. I mean, the husband's not there. He's out of the picture, has been since they were infants. And so she just created a relationship with them where they were her partner. And, you know, they just became really bought into it because she has had nine brain surgeries and colon cancer. And, that, and as I said to her, I don't trivialize that at all. And sometimes becoming a patient is your identity. And becoming a caregiver can become your identity. And so I think there was this dynamic of where they felt like we have to take care of our mother, but you, after a while, you start resenting that. There's a natural splitting apart. You know, when teenagers grow up, they start to split apart from their parents, right? And go out and become independent. And if the parent is real clingy, then that's not a splitting off, it's a revolt. Then it becomes really dramatic. And so the family dynamic here was really codependency. And then secondly was the smoking of the dope. Uh, you know, I don't, I know it's not the cool, popular thing to say, but all these people passing legislation that's making marijuana okay, I don't think they realize agricultural science has made the marijuana of today so much more potent than the marijuana of the 60s and 70s. I mean, the THC is like eight, nine times as powerful as it was. I mean, if you gave people today marijuana that was being smoked back in the 60s, they would think it was oregano and throw it away. <laughs> uh, and Dr. Breider uh, is totally right. This is a major erosion of something called working memory, which impacts fluid intelligence. And so I don't ask myself why these boys are stuck. I ask myself, why not? Like he said, they don't call it dope for nothing. They just come home every day and just sit there and smoke dope and they have no motivation. And inertia is the tendency for bodies at rest to remain at rest. And that marijuana is keeping them inert. They need to get away from her. It will be better for her. It will be better for them. Then they can have a healthy relationship if they'll both work at it.
Well, hey there, thanks so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, I do want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what's going on. You just might end up right here with me on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!